Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to give your Cisco router or switch an IP address and a subnet mask. So for us, we're just going to be getting a 2960 switch and a PC or another end device. Uh, next, we're going to be getting a console cable and consoling right into that. Now we're going to open up PuTTY or uh, whatever your terminal program is. We're going to go on a terminal and we're going to do this. Make that a bit bigger. All right. Now we're going to do enable get into user exec mode. Um, now we're going to configure the terminal. Now we're going to do, after we do conf t, we're going to do int vlan1. This is going to be the vlan1 interface. Now we're going to do IP address. Um, that's the do IP space address. Now we're going to set our IP address. This is not the default gateway. So make sure that the last one is not a one, that the last octet is not a one. Just like that, I'm going to do 1.2. 255.255.255.0 that's going to be my subnet mask uh, now I'm going to do enter now I'm going to do no shutdown uh, that'll uh, uh, that, that the no shutdown command uh, puts the status of the of it to up so it can operate and as always um, copy your running config to your starter config and just like that you have set and saved an IP address and a subnet mask for your switch or router. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I have other CCNA videos. I also have a video on how to set up a Cisco switch or router uh, fully um, so it's operational on the network. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe so I can continue to make videos like this. See ya.